hello friends uh, welcome back uh, today in this video we will discuss on how to check uh, the anode uh, sacrificial rod that we have in our uh, solar unit uh, and how to change it and what are the effects of it uh, we will just discuss briefly on it so as you can see uh, in the video uh, what you have uh, uh, what you're seeing right now is a 15 year old uh, uh, Tata BP solar uh, uh, unit which has been installed at the construction of this house it's been 15 years and uh, it's in very good condition uh, the key to it is it is that uh, uh, you need to frequently service it and check the anode sacrificial rod so i will just let you know like where exactly you have the anode sacrificial rod and how to check it uh, before that uh, as a safety precaution if you have a heater coil which is connected to the solar please disconnect it or switch off the heater coil and also make sure that uh, you turn off the inlet uh, uh, water which is through this one so if you have a valve over here or a ball valve make sure you turn it off because the entire system is a bit pressurized and water might gush out so what you see here is the anode rod uh, to open it up you need a French spanner so with the help of the French spanner carefully open it up and uh, after opening it up uh, look at the condition of your anode rod so this is the condition of my anode rod which i just replaced it you see as you see in the video like uh, it's corroded off of the anode rod is corroded uh, this is the condition of my anode rod uh, from the past three years so uh, three years ago i replaced the anode rod and this is the condition right now you can get a new anode rod from the service center at the cost of 600 rupees and replace it by yourself so what happens if you don't replace an anode rod or the sacrificial rod what happens to your uh, uh, pipes and uh, uh, solar panels i'll just uh, show you an example of what exactly happened so this was the initial uh, uh, pipe unit which we installed as you can see um, as you can see now the sediments have almost eaten up everything so there is barely any gap for the water to flow into the pipes so you see the rust how much uh, it has been acquired so it's uh, if you don't replace the anode rod this is the condition it happens so this happened to our unit previously uh, we did not uh, replace the anode rod uh, when we were uh, running the uh, local uh, borewell water uh, which had a lot of uh, salts and minerals deposits so the salts and deposits in the water uh, corroded the anode rod as well as the pipes so this took us a lot of amount of, I mean, it, it, it uh, incurred a lot of cost and uh, we, we had to replace the entire pipe unit uh, thankfully we, uh, we did not have any kind of issues with the, uh, the copper pipe which are there on the solar panels so that saved us so it is always better uh, you have a check on your anode rods or the sacrificial rods uh, once a year uh, 